from Manchester. Yes, while the weather is gorgeous outside, we thought we'd venture out and about, but then the weather changed, so here we are. On tonight's show, we have nearly completed our marathon of guests from the Greater Manchester Fringe Festival. Yes, but first up, let's meet Nathan Smith and Hannah Hobley appearing in a play called Westernised. Welcome! Look at them all dressed up. I'm guessing that's why it's called Westernised. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. Tell us a bit about it then. So, Westernised is a comedy spoof Wild West show, oh. uh, which we're doing in a pop-up saloon in 53 Twos Car Park. So, it's a really daft spoof with songs and jokes and slapstick comedy. Oh, fabulous. Ooh. And well, what characters then do you guys play? Yeah. Multiple characters. <laughs> yeah. How, how many is multiple? Ooh, I think I play five or six. Uh, um, I'm only on three, but my character, Layla, is, is quite like in it quite a lot, so there's only time for her to play two others. But and it's yeah, bound to be like a, a saloon girl then. Is, is that what Layla might be? A bit of a... Bit of a one. You could describe her as the the, the madam of um, of the certain saloon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. So what's the story then, please? So the story is about four storytellers who all want to tell a story at the same time. So they uh, join forces um, to create the ultimate Wild West story, and each one of them has got a certain storyline. So it's sort of goes in and out of different people's stories throughout the show. I love it. And um, I suppose we can't ignore the um, the instruments really, can we? Oh, well, we've got a tune. I'm guessing they're used in the show. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. and so it's all live, original... Uh, original? Original country and western. And have you got one for us? We certainly do, yeah. Right, well, can we have a listen? listen? Yeah, so this is called The West and it's the first song in the show. Extras, but that's it. Set. We're building our own set, so we, you know we haven't. 
we've hired out a space but we haven't hired out like a, a, a proper stage or anything so we're actually building our set in the car park of 53.2 and we're turning a marquee into a pop-up saloon um, so we're doing a crowdfunder at the moment to try and raise money to make that happen. So when's it on? Um, so it's on the 18th to the 28th of July, 7.30 at 53.2, which is underneath uh, Dean's Gate uh -huh. stop. Um, it runs for two weeks, uh, so there's eight shows, and our crowdfunder finishes next Wednesday, which is the 18th. So yeah. any um, little bits of coins or anything would help us build our saloon, really. <laughs> Because on the crowdfunding you can get, kind of get tickets and you can also get a shot of tequila before you go in, mm -hmm. can't you? Yeah. It's all lots of different things and it's a great thing to support. And it sounds marvellous. Well, we'll look forward to watching that one. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you very much to the pair of you for coming. And Thank you for having we, us. We, we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh, of course we should hey, do, yeah. do you think it's hot in the West? I think it's, well, it might just be as hot as in this studio. Well, I bet you it's hotter over in Soapland. Let's find out with our Hayley. Hi, I'm Hayley and welcome to Soap Corner. Now, beginning with Emmerdale this week, Chas actually called the wedding off on Monday. They've been told that their unborn baby sadly will not survive. They've been offered a termination, but they've decided to take their pregnancy full term. Now, Charity begs for another chance with Ryan. Will she get it? And Moira receives a devastating call saying Matty is in hospital. Now over this way back to Corrie and at the end of the month baby Susie is kidnapped but will Johnny be the one behind it? Now this storyline is the catalyst for Eva's exit of course. Now if you remember I mentioned earlier this year that Claudia will be back and she will be and not long till she's on our screens poaching Maria and dishing out some great one-liners. A big storyline for Sam, Sally and Tim is on its way with Duncan conning Sally. Will she lose everything or will she not? That remains to be seen. Now David spots Josh grooming a new victim and decides to take matters into his own hands. On a serious note, Corrie is starting to tackle homelessness with Sean's storyline. Now we've been promised some very heartbreaking scenes ahead. Sadly, in Britain over the last few years, the amount of people finding themselves homeless has risen rapidly. So I'm pleased, very pleased that Corrie will be covering this. That's it from me. I'll see you next time. Bye! Well, thank you, Hayley. Yes, okay, makeup time now. And something they call a halo eye. Ooh. Our makeup guru, Jeffrey, tells us a little bit more about it. Hi, and welcome back to your weekly makeup fix. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a halo eye. So, we're going to start off by priming our lids. I'm going to be using the P. Louise base. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. And then, with a flat concealer brush, I'm going to coat both sides. And then I'm just going to go in. I'm going to use this to carve my brow out as well. And then just coat your whole lid. I'm just going to grab a buffing brush and I'm just going to tap that product in. Now, with a big eyeshadow, big fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm going to dip into my Revolution Pro palette. I'm going to grab this yellow shade first. Just get a, lot, a whole lot of product on there. And then dumping it in the middle. And just tickling the skin and in circular motions. And then grabbing another brush, I'm going to dip into this orange shade here. going to start to deepen the sockets. So we're going in, starting in the middle, feather it out and up, and going un just slightly under that yellow. Now I'm going to dip into my Candy Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with a tapered brush and I'm going to take this dark brown here. I'm just going to pop that in the middle again. Circular motions. And with that same tapered brush, I'm going to go into my Morphe palette now. And I'm going to dip into the tiniest amount of black. Then 
end starting in the middle and just feather it out. Now you have your eyeshadows laid down, what you want to do now is to go back in with your concealer. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on the back of my hand. Grab your flat concealer brush. And I'm going to start in the inner corner of my eye. work my way around. You want to create a half egg shape. I'm going to start on the outside. Yeah. So you want to pop the color on the outside and also on the inner corner here. Leaving a little gap in the middle. And up the corner again. And just to finish the look off, I'm going to grab the white eyeshadow from my Revolutions palette, pack it right on, and then I'm just going to place it in the center right here. a little bit and there you go you have a halo eye oh a halo eye it's very different to me yes it does to me too but that really is all we've got time for today yes on tuesday we're back we're talking the black stuff with holly morell and lots more other guests yes plus our titters tells us more from the world of sports <laughs> yes until then take care and subscribe, subscribe to your, your manchester, manchester.